Kathy, let's discuss some of the basics of hearing aids. Let's tell our patients how hearing aids work. Hearing aids have a small microphone on the outside and they collect the sound, turn it into a digital processing strategy, the amplifier amplifies the sound, and then it sends it down into a receiver down inside the ear canal. Basically, it makes sounds and speech audible for the patient. Kathy, let's have a little fun here. <laughs> uh, are hearing aids better today than they used to be? Where did we start and how far have we come? Well, Dr. Lippi, we started with this device. Can you demonstrate how you used to use it? <laughs> well, <laughs> fortunately, I've never had to use it, but this is what the patient used to do. They would put it, a trumpet like this in their ear, you see. I guess it would fit better on this ear. And they would collect all the sound they could. And it's sort of like, uh, you know, what a dog does or any animal. When they put their ears forward, they just collect more sound. So this was really the first hearing aid. And if you look at, at many artists, you know, from the the mid-centuries and so forth, you'll see a number of these and that's what they were for. And then we moved on to smaller things. This is actually a body-worn hearing aid. Oh and yeah, oh yeah. Well, when I first started to practice, I saw a lot of hearing aids like this, a number of them. And you see how large it is because the batteries were very large and the receiver was a, a great distance from the microphone and they were awful to wear because just think, you know, the patient wouldn't want them sticking out like this. They'd put them under their clothes and every time their clothes moved, they would hear. They'd hear their clothes move. Conversation wasn't too good, but there was a <laughs> lot of movement of the clothes. Now, what, what happened after that? Well, we actually went to a behind the ear type of device that's all behind the ear, the microphone, the receiver, the speaker, everything was sat on the ear. And we've even moved smaller and smaller. We've gotten to where it fills up the inner ear and down inside the ear, completely in the canals. And we have a new thing coming out called the invisible canal. I think the other thing that's changed a lot over the years is the, the digital processing strategy. The digital processing strategy is a lot clearer, a lot crisper signal. Um, the person is able to have their hearing programmed through a computer and changes are able to be made on the computer. The, the hearing aid can actually have multiple memories so that you can have a memory for church um, that automatically adjusts for that. Or you can have a memory for a meeting function. Um, so they've gotten a lot smarter. There's actually um, feedback reduction technology in the new hearing aids that depending on where you are, the hearing aid automatically reduces low levels of sound to make speech more clear and audible for you. So I think that's one of the biggest changes that's happened is the actual sound that you're hearing is a lot better than it used to be. Tell our audience, Kathy, what hearing aids look like now. This is one of the original behind the ear type of devices. It's everything is behind the ear. This is our current behind the ear device. As you can see, it's a lot smaller. And then we have the half shell that goes down inside the ear canal. And then even smaller is the completely in the canal, or the CIC, and the invisible canal device that's right here. We also have a mini BTE with an open fit that Dr. Lippi is actually wearing. Now I've been wearing it for quite some time now, that is for this demonstration. And I'm sure none of you have seen it and the camera hasn't seen it. So I'm going to turn to the side. And can you see it now? And this has just been, just come out in the recent years. And it's very, very popular. Um, it has just a tiny, tiny behind the ear device, if you can see that. And a very small cable that goes down inside the ear. And it's very, very lightweight. It's used for people that have very high frequency hearing losses and it actually lets their voice come through very naturally. And so people really love this. And another advantage is, is these are open tubes. Many of these have an open tube, so it doesn't occlude the ear canal. So you can't see it, nothing occludes, nothing occludes the ear canal, 
and it's really uh, wonderful to wear. I'll very often be talking with a patient and I'll, or taking a history and I'll say, do you wear a hearing aid? And I'm, I'm, I'm sitting perhaps three feet from them and they say, yes, I don't even see the hearing aid when I'm sitting three feet from them. And another thing I want to add, Dr. Lippi, are hearing aids are very little maintenance. They run off of a small battery that can be purchased anywhere. Basically, you take the hearing aid and wear it all day. You take it off, you wipe it off with a, with a tissue at night, and you go back to the programming audiologist to have it cleaned and checked about two times a year. That's really it. 